quick video here, uh, we're going to talk about the Green's theorem formula for area. And uh, so what so so what is this, right? Uh, this is something that I just more like recently um, has come up and become more important. But the Green's theorem er, uh, formula for area is if you have a simple closed curve, if uh, you have a simple closed curve uh, and uh, the region R satisfies the hypothesis of Green's theorem, um, satisfies the hypothesis of Green's theorem, then the area of R of the region of the enclosed region is uh, area is equal to one half uh, the line integral over C. And that's the circle here just means it's closed of x dy minus y dx. All right. So what does that mean? Right. So let's look at then uh, 16 four number 26. Okay. Um, what do you have? We have an ellipse. R of t is equal to uh, a cosine t comma b sine t, and t is from zero to two pi. So, what this means is then, in st uh, to find the area of this region enclosed by this curve, uh, the ellipse, all we want to do is evaluate this line integral. Okay, and we know what x dy minus y dx is. So first we want to extract f, right? And f is going to be negative y comma x because x is with the dy and y is with the dx. So right, negative y then goes in the x slot. Um, negative y goes in the x slot while uh, negative x uh, or positive x goes in the y slot. Okay, so that's, uh, that's how we find f. And then, right, since we're, we, we have to evaluate that line integral, whoops, then uh, we need to find f of r of t, right, which is going to be, well, what's uh, negative y, so we need to plug in this guy in for negative y, and that's negative b sine t comma, and then uh, x is going to be a cosine t, Right, and then r prime of t is equal to uh, looks like negative a sine t, and then comma b cosine t, and now we find that uh, one half the integral of x dy minus y dx is going to be equal to uh, one half uh, the line integral of f of r of t dotted with r prime of t. Right, so this is exactly like uh, the second example I did in 16.2. Right, we had a D, uh, dx and dy guy, and we converted it uh, into this, and now and then we got dt. And what is that? This is one half the integral of uh, negative b sine t, a cosine t, dotted with uh, negative a sine t, uh, b cosine t. Right. Uh, dt, and uh, what is t? t is from 0 to 2 pi in our case. So now this is 1 half the integral from 0 to 2 pi. Uh, this is ab sine squared t plus ab cosine squared t. Oh, that's, that's exciting because now I factor out ab. So I get ab over 2. All right, factor on ab, and this becomes 0 to 2 pi of sine squared t plus cosine squared t dt. Well, we know what sine squared t cosine squared t is. That's just 1. So it's ab from 0 to 2 pi of 1 dt. And then uh, this evaluates then into pi ab as the area, right? And if you are familiar with the area of an ellipse, uh, and when you have the minor and the major uh, axes, uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, the formula for the area of the ellipse, I think. Uh, might be wrong. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is how you use Green's theorem for area. 
And uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for Green's theorem then. So we did a flux example, a flow example, a flux example. Um, and now uh, what we have to do then is uh, let's move on to 16.5, which I believe talks about what, oh, I don't know what 65 is actually. All this blurs together. Surface is an area. Ah, so 16.5 and 16.6. Um, I actually might think, I actually think these might be the two hardest uh, two hardest um, sections of the book, but uh, I'll see you guys in the next videos then.